Welcome to another episode of The Pursuit Abroad. Uh, I'm here with Pastor Harper, and we are going to take a road trip today, Pastor Harper. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I've got two students in my class. Ah! Oh. We are in a parking lot. Um, we are, I have two students in my class. It's their birthday, and I'm stopping to get them some donuts. And I thought, let's kill two stones with one bird and do this in one trip. All right, so Pastor Harper, we always want to start with an icebreaker. So before we get on the road, what's yeah. the icebreaker today? Well, since we're picking up donuts and we're talking about that, um, also since we're both not eating sugar right now, yeah, uh, we but figured wait, real quick. Can yeah. we show share out to our audience uh, how much uh, how much have you lost? How much weight have you lost? Gained about no, <laughs> lost about twenty pounds. Twenty pounds. Yeah, I've only lost uh, five. Well, apparently you're eating more sugar than I am. So yeah. yeah so anyway, so what's your icebreaker? Uh, so icebreaker is what's your favorite sweet? We figured why not tempt everyone? Yeah. Um, it's a funny story. My, my favorite thing, my, my wife makes a peanut butter pie that I think is amazing, um, and I love it. But I'm going to mention this one because it's kind of funny. Mm. Been off sugar for a while, and a couple days ago, the kids wanted a dessert, so they got key lime pie, and I love key lime oh, pie. Oh, yeah. I love it, but I didn't get any because I, I'm, not, I'm not eating sweets, so I just watched my kids enjoy a key lime pie. So now that's in my head. Yeah. Like that's, I really want that, but yeah. I'm saying no to it. So for me, I think definitely like a like a Reese's milkshake. That's what. Oh, yeah. That's cookout. That's kind of a oh yeah, yeah. oh yeah, All definitely. Right. Um, yeah, that's my go-to. Very right. good. Very tempting too. Hard to say no to. Yeah, it is. Yeah. All right, we'll take some time right now with your group to discuss what's your favorite dessert or favorite go-to sweet, whatever it is, while we head on the road to go pick up some donuts. Right. Well, this week's sermon, Pastor Kivett was talking about blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. And the conversation we was happening in the uh, in the in the lesson was the sometimes we can see ourselves differently than we really are. You know, we can we can all kind of have this idea that we're meek people, that we are uh, pretty pretty great, but we can uh, we sometimes fool ourselves. So we thought we'd ask the question uh, to our group of and really be vulnerable with each other. How do you think people see you, or what do you, what kind of personality, what kind of attitude do you think you portray uh, to those around you? Yeah, because a lot of times uh, it's it's almost like with your face, like you can you can be happy, mm -hmm. and yet what people see is not a smile. Yeah. It makes them think you're angry. Yeah, and my so resting like, Baptist face is pretty gross. gross. Resting Baptist. My face. resting Baptist face is just love that. Sometimes when Pastor Kip is preaching, he'll look over. I have to smile because my resting Baptist face is kind of frowning, and I. I don't want to think I don't agree with what he yeah. said. So, I mean, yeah, you, you don't know how you're coming across. And so, uh, you know, yeah, if, if you're not aware of what your face is saying, mm -hmm. you can be saying, I'm mad, even though you're happy. And somebody's like, hey, what's wrong? Yeah. Nothing. Today's going great. What are you talking about? Yeah. I just had the greatest day ever. Yeah. Um, and so in the same way, you can believe you are coming across one way, but really people are perceiving it as something else. And so being aware of that. Um, and how people perceive you to be and some of the things like that, that's, that's very helpful yeah. to know. So take some time right now with your group to discuss ways and you, way you think people see you, the, how you uh, seem to come across to other people. All right, so when talking about meekness and being meek, that idea that's very synonymous with uh, humility and being humble as well, um, some of that that comes up is what is what is so difficult about really being truly meek, truly humble. What what is what's the real challenge there? What's difficult uh, about that? Because that is not something that comes natural. It takes work, and so it's something that we strive for. Uh, but how, you know what is it about that that makes it so difficult? Yeah, because it's you're right. It's the idea. Sometimes we can kind of think we're humble, when in reality it's kind of a, a faux humility. It's we might we might be. Um, uh, I would use the term like a self-deprecating humor, where you're like you kind of joke about yourself. And right. But in reality, there is that humility being difficult for us. There's that pride even in that that faux humility. You want people to think a certain way. Mm -hmm. About us, and so it really is when you dig deep on it, thinking it really is tough to, to really let go of pride and be truly humble. Mm -hmm. So take some time right now with your group to discuss why is genuine humility so difficult. Yeah. 
Well, finally, in Pastor Kibbett's sermon this week, he talked about that the meek inherit the earth. And he spoke about how this is talking about a future fulfillment in the kingdom, but there's also present-day um, results of meekness. And we talked about how it was involving the relationships in which we have every day. Yeah, and so as we think about that, as we are meek, as we are, like we talked about in the last question, genuinely humble, uh, how does that affect those relationships? What does that look like? How does that change those things to better uh, grow them and mature them and make them into really what Christ uh, means for those relationships to be like? Yeah. And so we thought this would be a great thing for you and your group to talk about of just what that looks like and how that could help and grow those relationships around you. Well, thank you for joining us on another episode of The Pursuit Abroad, this time on our trip to Krispy Kreme Donuts. Not a sponsor, but I want to give you a shout out there. Uh, you can always watch previous episodes of The Pursuit by clicking the link provided on your screen. Yeah, go back and watch past sermon videos too, especially catch up on our series in the Beatitudes. Uh, hit the subscribe button so you're getting these videos immediately as soon as we put them out. And uh, we are going to be tempted, but not give in to temptation That's as right. we close this video. And uh, we will see you next time.